Hey girls, welcome to my channel. So today, y'all are here because y'all wanna know how do you plan your dream wedding? Well, I'm here to tell you, it's harder than you think. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Calm down girls, relax. It's supposed to be the most wonderful and the best time of your life. Don't stress about it, okay? Just breathe, breathe. It's one day, it's one day. Yes, it is the most important day of your life, but it's one day. What I want you to do, girls, is go grab a pen, some paper, your notebook, whatever you wanna get, so that we can get into these questions. But first, go grab your coffee, wait and go subscribe to my channel all right so let's get to it so the first question that i have i think almost everybody has sent this question to me do you need a planner yes you need a planner is it beneficial to have a planner yes it's beneficial to have a planner especially if you're like me and you're just all over the place you need a planner i mean you need a planner now what was my problem was that I couldn't stick to my budget. I, I I really I knew what I wanted, but I didn't know what I want. So I end up going with Cashmere Productions. Oh my God, they are by far the best production team, wedding planning team I've ever met in my life. So Cashmere Productions Garland, he works very closely to Decor to Remember. So they, if you live in Houston, they're going to hook you up to the extreme. They did everything. I'm going to also post some before and after pictures, hopefully either at the end of this video or on my Instagram page. So you can see, or if you go to their page at Cashmere Production, I'll tag it in the description below. You can uh, see the before and after of my wedding and how the venue looked before they actually came in and did it. I was just so surprised. Like I... I it was just amazing. They just transformed the entire room. Now, the thing is, I knew that I wanted to transform the room. If you don't plan on transform the, transforming the room, then go with a venue that already pretty much have everything you need. If you decide not to use a planner, even if you do decide to use a planner, go with a venue that has everything that you need, that you can just pick the items that you want or that you don't want. So that way it'll be a little easier for you and a little more cost efficient if you go with a venue that has everything. I went with pretty much a blank canvas venue. I wanted white floors. Um, that was my main thing. White floors and a lot of room so that, you know, Garland would be able to do whatever he needs to do to transform the room how I wanted it to be. Second question. Should my bridesmaids dresses differ from my maid of honor or your matron of honor? That's totally up to you. Um, my wedding, I wanted all of my bridesmaids to be in my maiden of honor and my matron of honor. I wanted them all to be the exact same. Um, only thing that was different was their necklaces. The day of the wedding, they all wore different necklaces. The bridesmaids wore different necklaces versus the maiden of honors wore different necklaces. And my maid of honor wore a different necklace. So that kind of helped them, you know, distinguish against each other. But I'm more into it all being uniformed everyone looking the same even with my husband and his groomsmen they all wore the same suits so I put the suits and everything together I saw this guy on Instagram I'll see if I can find his information I think I still have it but I went to him and I told him the look that I was going for I wanted gray with um with their with white shirts but I wanted the buttons to be black and I wanted them to wear black bow ties and black shoes. And it looked so nice. But before I did it, I put the pictures together. So I put the, the groomsmen suits that I had an idea of. And the bridesmaids dresses that I had an idea that I was going to get for them. Well, they were, you know, I was going to have them get. And everything looked so pretty. It, it, it all came together really, really good. Now, the thing is, um, 
my bridesmaids came in all shapes and sizes beautiful women so i wanted something that complement all of their skin tone so i decided to go with a pink now my maid of honor my sister she helped me find their dresses and i think we went to windsor store to get their dresses i think it was only like literally i promise you like 70 dollars Maybe six, no, $65, but I had them get a belt, all the same belt, which made the total come out to be about $85 or $80, $80 $85 for everything. I bought their necklaces, their jewelry. Um, it was just like an additional gift that I gave them besides their bridesmaids brunch that I just wanted to give them for, you know, sticking with your girl to the next question. So question number three, where did I get my bridesmaids dresses from? Um... I got their brides, their dresses from Windsor Store. I mentioned that just a second ago, but I'll put the information in the description below. And also where I got my dress from. That was almost the top question um, that was sent to me. Where did I get my dress from? But I definitely will put it in the description below so that you can um, go to the boutique. I don't know if they do website. I don't know if they have a website or not where you can purchase from. I would never advise to purchase a wedding dress from online um, because you don't know how it's going to look. When should you buy your dress? You should dry, buy your dress at least, at least at the minimum, six months to a year before your wedding because it takes four months four to five months sometimes for your dress to come in. Once your dress is here, you have to get it altered. If you wanna make any adjustments to your dress, you have to get that corrected immediately. Dress only cost $1,500, okay? And if you go to any other dress, any other store, your dress is gonna cost $4,000 and up because I looked. The type of dress that I wanted, I, I, I knew that the price tag was very expensive and I just wasn't willing to pay $4,000 on a dress that I'm going to wear for eight hours. Boutique owner, she's a designer, a wedding, des a wedding gown designer. So she, um, I, she knew I did not like the mesh and I wanted to get that part removed. So what she did was she removed the mesh and she made my dress a halter top. So when she made my dress a halter top, oh my God, I swear I almost panicked because when I tried the dress on, all my titties was out. I was like, oh my God, I know my titties is not hanging out. And then I'm marrying the pastor's son, okay? So I said, please, lady, please, you got to help me. So she, you know, immediately came up with an idea. She took a belt and she just placed the belt right above the, the, the halter top. And it covered most of my breasts. And I just could not even believe that, you know, she came up with this idea. Clearly, she's been doing it for a long time because my sister went with me and we both agreed that she must have been doing this for a long time for her to just, you know, come up with that idea. She just came to the rescue, honey, baby, because I was, who I'm not even going to tell you how I was panicking. I was, I was start shaking. I just didn't know what to do. So that's why I'm telling you right now, go ahead and buy a dress six months to a year in advance before your wedding so you won't even have to worry about those uh, issues so the next big question was how much was my wedding my wedding was about 45 to fifty thousand dollars yes yes um so that leads to the next question did i go over my budget yes i went over my budget that was not um me and my husband's uh, budget when we first decided when we were going to have a wedding we actually decided to only do two ten thousand dollars each and then um once we start and that was two years ago because me and my husband got engaged back in 2015 so but he knew i wanted to get married um 2017 this is my favorite number i met my husband on october 7th 2015 and i wanted to Originally get married on July 7th, 2017, but it was on a Friday and I don't know, it just kind of didn't work for me. Um, and then financially wise, I knew that we were already going over our budget. So I looked at the next alternative date and that was October 7th, which was actually the day that we met. And I was like, wow, it just kind of like God told me that that was the best date. I know it may be silly, but it fell on a Saturday and I knew I wanted to get married on a Saturday and it was just perfect. It was October 7th, 2017. So I never looked at that before and, and it just 
I don't know. It's like God told me, Lonnie, you need to change your wedding date and this should be your wedding date. Which is also my grandmother's birthday. My mom's mom's birthday. So it was just a perfect date um, for us to change our wedding too. Um, and when did you start planning your wedding? I start planning my wedding. I'm not even going to lie. But I was engaged for two years. I did not plan my wedding for about a year to the year not kidding um and then i got down to maybe the seventh month of my wedding and i got a planner yeah so it's not good to wait that long because you're going to be stressed out about it but i did get a planner a wonderful planner like i said i don't know what i would have been able to do without garland um i'm not even going to lie to you i pretty much let him be creative i trusted him that my wedding to be simple but over the top if that even goes together i wanted it to be all white i wanted a clean beautiful wedding i wanted it to be clean make sure that you know it it, it, unif it shows me and michael's unity um you know clean going becoming one and garland just knew it he just knew everything i wanted I, he knew i wanted my flowers to be all white um i wanted the chairs to be white i wanted my entire wedding to be white and that's what he did. He did exactly what I wanted him to do. But he did it 10 times better. I would have never thought he... I'm not sure if you got... Well, if you have, please go watch um, my first video that I ever posted, which was my wedding video, if you haven't already. Um, on there, it shows where the stairs are white. They're completely white. Um, he built those stairs. The stairs at the venue were actually black. But because he wanted the wedding to flow and to just all, you know, be, you know, just tied together really nicely, he created those uh, stairs. They built them. And the drapes, the venue is actually um, two stories, but they created drapery. So the venue has three huge chandeliers. That's what made me actually want to, you know, book that venue for my wedding. Um, it has three huge chandeliers. Uh, Garland went ahead and draped all the sh draped from the bottom of each chandelier where it covered the entire top part of the venue so people didn't even know that the venue was two stories because they were so good they cut that entire s top layer off well they made an illusion that it was not there so that's the benefit honestly of having a planner get you a planner that you trust okay don't go to Uncle Bobo Uncle Tom, Uncle Tisha, or you want to be cheap and think you can do it yourself and then get mad when everything doesn't go the way that you wanted it to go. I'm not going to say nothing, sis, but if you're not a wedding planner, then mm, it's okay. If that's not your specialty, if that's not something that you can do, like me, I can do it. I couldn't do it. I'm not even going to try to sit here and act like I can plan a wedding for 200 people. Mm -mm, I couldn't do it. So the next question, question, having a large wedding, having a large wedding party, is it a headache? No, not really. I mean, it is a lot because you have to make sure that this person know what's going on. This person know what's going on. This person know what's going on. Luckily for me, I had my maid of honor and my maidens of honors. So they really took care of everything. Um, I let them do everything and they got back to the bridesmaids and they told the bridesmaids everything that was going on. They pretty much helped your girl out, I swear. Like, I don't know what I would have done without them. So when you pick your wedding party, you want to pick somebody. Pick the girls that's going to hold you down. Grateful. So, no, having a wedding, a big wedding party is not difficult to deal with. The only thing that we did have to deal with was um, when we found the dresses, it was like God, like I said, God sent those dresses. Everybody, it came in everybody's size, all the way down from an extra large to... Um, no, I'm sorry, extra small to an extra large. They even had a 2X and a 3X, I believe. So um, so they came in everybody's sizes. So you want to find something that comes in everybody's size. So And, and, and take some time to look for it. We, we looked for the bridesmaids dresses maybe around the same time that I found my wedding gown. Because 
it's going to take time. I mean, if you love your friends and you love your bridesmaids, you want them to look just as beautiful as you. Even though it's your day, but you still want them to be a representation of you as well. You want them to still look beautiful and let everybody know that you put in time. Not even to just say let everybody know, but just for yourself. You want your bridesmaids to look beautiful just as well. I mean, especially if they roll with you through the whole ride. You want to make sure that they looking good, you know? Um... But anyways, uh, let's go to the next question. Was my husband involved? My husband was involved, but for the most part, he pretty much let me do whatever I want to do. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, and then mainly because if he did try to help me, I probably was like, boy, you don't know what you're talking about. But even that's not good. That's not good. Because he was wonderful. He did help me out. Um every time i needed him to help me out but he knew he'll just say whatever you want to do babe whatever you want to do babe and so that's why i love that man he just pretty much let me do whatever i wanted to do um and i think that's what you know to be honest most men are going to be that way and don't get mad i know you want him to put his input in but for the most part i mean that's what he's going to say he's going to pretty much tell you whatever you want to do because you know he wants you to be happy it's it's, it's y'all big day of course but it, it you're really like the 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 focus point the the you know everybody's going to be focused on you for the big day because you're the bride you know so everybody's going to be oh you look so beautiful you know it's it's your day it's your day sis so enjoy it. and don't get mad at him if you ask him baby what color do you like and he says whatever you want babe that's right you got your got your winner that's what you need the top three tips that I can give to the bride are for your budget, use some of the budget money towards real flowers, real flowers. That was my big issue was because everybody was telling me you're going to need real flowers. And I was like, what? I need real flowers real flowers cost real money okay and so i was like i i, I really don't want to spend all my money on flowers with something that's going to get thrown away immediately after the wedding but then when i thought about it i went to a wedding and they had all fake flowers and you can tell the difference you can really really tell the difference so if you want that elegant chic expensive looking wedding you need to blow about $5,000 on your flowers. Not saying to spend $5,000, but you want, that's how much I spent on flowers alone. I spent anywhere from five to $7,500 on real flowers. Don't You don't have to be like me, but if you want to get real flowers, I suggest real flowers versus fake flowers. They actually are almost about the same price. Um, I really do think so. You're probably gonna have to check with your floors and see um, about the price but I do think number one will be to get real flowers um, second if you want to be comfortable sis on your wedding don't wear heels don't wear heels I did not wear heels on my wedding and people still cannot believe that but my dress was so long that I did not wear heels when my husband did the garter dance and he took off the garter I'm sure everybody saw that he took my flip-flop off. That's because I didn't wear heels. I didn't wear heels to my ceremony. I did not wear heels to my reception because I wanted to be comfortable. So I got some pretty uh, blinged out flip-flops, rose gold blingy flip-flops, and that's what I wore because I wanted to be comfortable, okay? I can't dance, okay? I can't, you know, bust a move in my heels. Hey, but some move in my heels. So I put on flip flops because that's what I wanted to wear. Okay. Tip number three. Remember, ladies, it's just one day. It's just one day. And it goes by so fast. When I tell you it went by so fast, it was like <laughs> gone. Over. Over. All my money. All our money. Gone. Okay? And seven, eight hours. We spent two years saving all that money. Two years. Two years. Two years. And it's gone. Gone down the drain. 
No, I'm just kidding. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful investment. Well, it's not really an investment. You're going to get a lot of money back, but I don't feel bad at all about spending, spending the money. And that leads to the next question. My final question that, you know, I did get from some girl, a lot of girl, a lot of women, beautiful women. Thank you all for submitting these questions. I really had a lot of fun answering them for y'all. Um, but the final question is, do you regret spending as much money as you did on your wedding? No, I don't. I don't. Because what me and my husband did, we saved for, even before I did, we saved. You know, because I didn't know when he was ready to marry me, but he have always, he's very, very good with his money. He's very, I, I mean, this boy is real good with saving his money. He's very financially, um intelligent i should say i'm not i'm not i mean i'm learning you know that's why we balance each other because you know he's all here i'm here you know and i'm i'm coming you know i'm trying to i'm trying to meet him halfway or whatever um so that we can be on the same page but you need somebody like that you need somebody that's you know when you spending all the money he telling you hey hey, hey calm down you know so it, it you have to because if both of y'all like to spend money sis Sis, are you sure that's the man you want to marry? As long as you not spending all your money where you just have one dollar in your bank account, then no, I do not suggest that you spend a lot of money on your wedding. You need to spend just enough money to where after the wedding, you can still go on your honeymoon if you want to. If you, if you want to buy a house afterwards, you can. If you want to buy a new car afterwards, you can. If you want to invest in a business then you can you want to make sure that you have the funds for that you don't want to just blow all your money because that's that's not smart period um and then see who wants to chip in you know uh see if your mom want to help you like my mom she she paid for my dress um i meant to mention that with my dress and my alterations and everything my dress came out to be about twenty five hundred dollars yes so twenty five hundred dollars most of my money that's another thing i'm sorry i think i missed that question most of my money went to decor and flowers so that's what most of your money is going to go towards decor and flowers so um yeah decor flowers food that was pretty much it and my mom paid for my dress but anywho thank you guys i hope this was a good informative video for y'all if you like it Please leave me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel.